Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a little baby boy mini album that I created. I created this mini album for my sister who became a brand new grandma for the first time. I used the brand new super adorable photo play about a little boy paper collection. They have a girl version as well and it is just as adorable. Um, I love the little otter and all the cute little animals on here and I love the color palette of this. So again this is the brand new photo play about a little boy paper collection. And my mini album measures five and a half by seven and a half and the spine is two and three quarters. I also use the collection as well as some di the die cut ephemera pack. So here we go. On the front I use the little pieces from the ephemera. This is baby and this is another piece from the ephemera, baby boy, and then the cute little otter. It's actually a tag that I just glued it down flat and put it on some citrusy colored cardstock and popped it up. I have a couple stickers here from the sticker sheet and some twine. And I die cut some little scalloped um, square here as well as the solid white one. And there's the spine. Love the little kite, kite paper and here is the back. So you open it up. I have six pages in here. On the inside this is another one of the 3 by 4 cutouts and it has uh, all the firsts and so you can just put the date here whenever those little events happen. And I love this cute little journal spot with a little fox hanging upside down from the kite. I thought that was a cute little piece. And then over here, this was another piece from the ephemera pack. It says a few first, and then there's that little space for the date. I rolled over and I slept through the night and those kind of cute things. So I thought that'd be fun to fill out. So each of the pages will have a four by six photo mat right here. And they, I did put some gray card stuff on the back. And then this is just decorative and you can flip it up and you can put a photo here and a photo here. And then the side of each page will have a large photo mat and these are five by seven. So you can do front and back there. So you don't have to cover up the paper if you don't want to. You can just put your photos on the little photo mats inside. Flip it over again, uh, another little three by four cutout with popped up on some dimensional foam tape and these flap open. You can put a photo here and a photo here and I did leave this open so you could slide the photo underneath if you wanted. These have a magnet closure. Again, another sticker that I put on some of the orange cardstock and fussy cut around it. And then this is one of the 4x6 cards and I just put it on here. And you can put the photo on the back. I love this paper. It is so cute. Really, really cute. Place for photo here and photo here if you want. And then photos here. All these are going to be the same so I'm not going to pull them out. And again, those measure 5 by 7 and they're going to be orange and gray. Orange on one side and gray on the other. I get another cute little cutout from the paper collection that I backed on some little orange cardstock. And love the animal paper. The giraffe of the glasses is adorable. Over here again, another four by six. These are four by six, so you can put a full four by six photo on these without cropping them. And you flip it up and place for photo and photo. Or you could just journal here if you wanted. And over here, this is a cute little tag that I just made a tiny little skinny belly band. Um, put some little paper on the back and it just tucks right in there and flip it open and again another cute little um, tuck spot here you could put a photo and a photo or you could just put the photo here and leave the cute kite paper. Another photo mat right here. I did also use some of the, it comes in a 6x6 six six paper pad as well but I did use mostly the 12x12 12 12 and I used a couple of sheets of the 6x6. Six six. Flip it up. Love this cute little sticker here of the cute little fox hanging upside down and I left it open so you could slide something underneath if you wanted. Over here is that cute little giraffe. It says, hello, baby. And these are all popped up on foam tape. Again, place for a photo here. Cute little mouse. I did trim this one down a little bit, this little journal spot. So you could just write something here. Or you could just leave it purely decorative. Again, photo there. And here's the photo map for this one. And over here, uh, again, another 3 by 4 card. And I did... And I don't think I trimmed this one down, but I did put it on some orange cardstock just to break up some of the stripes here. And again, another uh, belly band right here that you can put the photo right here if you wanted. Again, the cute kite paper. Here's the photo map for this one. This is another piece of, no, this is a sticker sheet. Yes. From the sticker sheet, the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And then you flip it up. 
And on the last page here, again, another three by four cutout. I love the little cloud paper. Now the cloud paper did not come in the 12 by 12 collection, which I thought was interesting. It was only in the six by six. So I was kind of bummed about that because it is really cute. But there's a other cuteness in there. And then another cute little place right here with all the cute little animals and the balloons and then a place for photo here. And over here I made a little quick little belly band with one of the three by four cards. Just read me a story. And again, another cute little photo mat, Daddy's Little Man. And you can put a picture on the back. So there you go. That's my little mini album for a baby boy for my sister for her brand new grandson. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.